Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Wisdom ML. So this is the continuation of our skin cancer detection video series. And in this video, we'll be talking how we can explain our CNN model, which we have built in the last video. Uh, and uh, for explaining uh, our model's uh, result, we'll be using GradCam heat map technique. And uh, GradCam is basically a model explanation technique, which helps in visualizing the uh, localized regions of the images where actually our CNN is looking at for a classification purpose. So, and uh, more technically, we can see that uh, we can say that uh, uh, the gradients which flows through the last convolution layer uh, basically uh, used to produce coarse localization map. And uh, using this GradCam heat map technique, we'll be highlighting those important regions uh, in the image for predicting any concept, right? So uh, this GradCam heat map technique is basically uh, based on a research paper that is visual, visual explanations from deep networks via gradient-based localization. So uh, this is the uh, actual paper, which is uh, the source of this uh, technique. So, if you really want to go through the actual technicality of this uh, technique, how it works basically, so you can definitely uh, read this paper. Okay, and uh, as you can see uh, in this, uh, there is one. Uh, let me let me zoom a bit. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, how it works is basically uh, in this image, uh, the, the model is going to predict the uh, cat, if the cat is present or not. So for that model, what, what we are doing is we are just highlighting the regions where the cat is present, right? And <clears throat> similarly, uh, uh, in this image, uh, we are going to predict the dog whether dog is present or not so it uh, highlighted the region where dog is present apart from that uh, one interesting thing is that uh, you can see in this uh, heat map there are uh, two parts basically three parts one is the dull part where uh, everything which is in the background there is two uh, the other two parts uh, includes uh, one is the uh, uh, less highlighted part and, the, and this, uh, this one is the more darker part. So more darker part basically indicates the most important regions which are actually contributing towards a particular class. And uh, so this is the basic uh, uh, overview of the GRAD CAM technique which basically uh, used in this technique. Right? So in this uh, what we are going to do is uh, we will uh, uh, execute the code for our skin cancer images. We'll uh, load our model basically, and uh, we are selecting three images from our uh, uh, skin cancer data set. So I have selected randomly three images. One is for nevus, one for melanoma, and third for uh, basal cell carcinoma. And uh, first, what we'll do, we will uh, resize it, uh, do basic pre-processing, and predict through our model whether it is uh, uh, neighbors or not, whether what, what uh, image it belongs to, what is the actual classification result of our model. Then we will uh, be uh, plotting the CAD CAM heat map. So let's execute uh, the code one by one. So first we will be importing all the necessary files. Then uh, we need to import our drive where we will be keeping our skin cancer data set. So in our case, I have already mounted our drive. So then we uh, we have to load our model. So my model, which we have built in the last video, I stored it in this location, my drive. Now we have these three images. <coughs> and... Uh, uh, this is just uh, the, uh, the thing that what we are going to do in re resizing and uh, basic pre-processing. So uh, 
it is just for demo purpose so what we are doing is we are giving this path okay and uh, we are uh, first we are resizing it into 224 cross 224 because this is the target size on which our model is trained okay then we are converting into images and then we are normalizing it by dividing it by 255 Apart from that, for prediction purpose, what we have done, we have created one dictionary where we are uh, <coughs> allocating all the classes uh, based on the index, okay, 0, 1, 2. And uh, this is our basic uh, prediction uh, function where first we are loading the image from the path which we will supply, resize it, basic preprocessing, then we will predict it. And then uh, whatever our predictions for each of the classes in terms of probabilities, we'll sorting it and uh, returning the prediction. So as you can see, when we have executed the image one, it uh, predicts neighbors with 100% uh, confidence. Right. Second is our melanoma image. And, and you can see that uh, melanoma neighbors, I told you that these are more uh, likely cases where generally uh, even dermatologists dermatologist confuse. So here you can see that it is 69.14 percent, neighbors 30.85 percent. Third image is for a basal cell carcinoma and it is predicted with uh, 98.95 uh, confidence level. So these are our predictions. So after that what we will do, we will see what our model is actually looking at in these three images for predicting these respective classes. Okay, so for that for, and for uh, plotting uh, GATCAM heat map, uh, I suggest go to this Keras uh, link. Okay, Keras.io examples vision GATCAM. I will share this link also. So I have followed this link to uh, plot the GATCAM heat map. This is re really easy to follow. You can just go through and. Uh, uh, they have also given a very good tutorial, uh, step by step, what will you will be doing for plotting the GradCam heat map. So, uh, as you can see, first of all, there is a GradCam algorithm which we need to implement in terms of Python functions. So, first, what they are doing is we are uh, they are actually uh, uh, doing uh, reading the image and then uh, resizing it, basic preprocessing they are doing and returning the image array, then uh, they are plotting the CRAT CAM heat map. So here first we need to load the model and in uh, while loading the model, some important things we need to keep in mind that uh, model inputs we need to keep, right? And the last convolution layer, that is very important. So you need to know that what is the actual name of your last convolution layer. So that is also possible if you just do model dot layers. Okay. Uh, so uh, we need to dis uh, we need to uh, know the last conversion layer, and that we need to mention here. Okay. Then we need to use uh, a gradient of the top predicted class for our input image. Okay. Because uh, uh, by using the gradients, we'll be plotting those gradient build basic uh, heat map so uh, then we we have uh, uh, yeah so based on the class channel and the last convolution layer output will be uh, will be uh, getting the gradients okay and uh, for those gradient what we are doing is uh, we are creating the vectors okay uh, or each feature map of the channel of the image Okay, and then what we are doing is we are creating the basic heat map. So now the question is, uh, so how the basic heat map looks like? So if we just uh, load the image, okay, uh, load our model, then we are uh, predicting it, and by those predictions, uh, what we are doing is we are we try to decode those predictions. So for that, we'll be uh, just using this make, make grad cam heat map function and here we have to specify all the important parameters that is actual image array uh, the pre-processed image uh, the model and the last convolution layer name 
and then you can see that this is the basic heat map so here what what's happening is we are not able to see the actual image just a blur image and the uh, heat map basically uh, basically the region uh, highlighted region of the image where our model is looking at but just looking at this heat map we cannot infer anything because uh, the actual image is actually missing and is blurred up so what we need to do whatever the gradients uh, we have uh, just uh, collected by uh, this and uh, whatever the heat map we have built uh, basic heat map which we have built we need to superimpose it in our original image so for that we need to create a superimposed visualization where we will be using the, that the, the, uh, our heat map which we have just built okay and then we need to apply the jet color map to colorize the heat map and after that we need to superimpose uh, the jet heat jet heat map on our actual image right the original image so now you can see that if we just plotted this uh, superimposed heat map so that is uh, actually showing the region where the model is actually looking for the object right so here we can see that uh, this is uh, uh, elephant in the image and uh, the model is exactly looking on those elephants Okay. So, grad cap heat map uh, not only works for classification, but it also works for object detections for even for segmentations also. So, by using grad cap, you can really explain your model, whichever it is, if it is classification, object detection, or maybe if it is segmentation model. Okay, so same uh, we have used it. So uh, we have used the same methods: image array, made grad cap heat map okay and then uh, uh, we are just resizing the image okay but uh, to collect the uh, first we have re we have to prepare the image okay so for image one we are preparing it and uh, uh, just in the same way we have uh, created the predictions okay and then we have generated a class activation map and you can see that that this is the basic heat map where we can't see the actual image so for generating actual image what we need to do we need to create the uh, superimposed image so so this this whole thing uh, which is in the pieces what we have done we have created a uh, function python function in which we need to pass the image path and the last convolution layer name and by doing so we'll be generalizing the whole uh, heat map plotting uh, as a general functions okay so uh, by getting it as a function we are receiving the heat map okay and i'm passing image 2 in it and uh, the last conversion layer that is block 16 depth wise okay and uh, after that we'll be using save and display grad cam method which is nothing but uh, superimposing the image on the actual uh, superimposing the actual uh, heat map on the actual image okay so for that we need to load the original image perform basic preprocessing converting into the image array then we need to generate the heat map in the range of 0 to 255 perform color jet map and uh, uh, superimpose it on our original image so now you can see that on uh, first we have uh, done on our image one that is uh, I think neighbors let me check first image uh, yeah first image is neighbors second is uh, melanoma and third is basal cell carcinoma so you can see that we have plotted it so this is the actual uh, grad cam heat map image where we have uh, superimposed our heat map on the actual original image so now you can see that this is the affected region and this is successfully highlighted by our CAD CAM map. So now we can uh, explain our model in the way that our model, the CNN model, is actually looking in this region uh, for classifying it as a Nevis category. Second uh, is the image two, that is uh, melanoma. So as you can see, that uh, our model is uh, perfectly looking at where it needs to look right so this is the affected region and this is highlighted 
So if you can say that our CNN model is actually looking in, the, in that affected area for uh, classifying it into melanoma. Because if you can say that, uh, we can uh, really see that uh, this is the uh, patch, whatever the patch is, and based on those patches, our class, class is defined, right? So if it is a normal patch or it is it's just a mole looking, so it is a neighbors. And if it is more like uh, affected, affected thing or it is more than a mole, right? It is looking like a uh, uh, beard uh, or affected region. So uh, this is actually melanoma. And the third one is our uh, basal cell carcinoma, which is somewhat different, uh, which is spread, which is something like spreading or uh, different uh, parts of the image in, or spread over entire uh, skin part so as you can see it is its region of uh, localization is also uh, not towards one center but it is also spreading or uh, or the more part of the image which which is suggesting that it is uh, basal cell carcinoma so this is it in this video we have tried to explain our model using grad cam heat map technique so in the next video what we'll be doing is we will integrating our model with the grad cam heat map also and we'll building the flask cap on top of that right so uh, in our flask cap uh, we need to just upload the skin cancer image Okay, this can listen image basically, and it will give you the probability of uh, classes which class it actually belongs to. Apart from that, we'll also try to plot the grad cam heat map so that we can see that at which location in the image uh, the actually our model is looking at while predicting a particular class. So, thanks guys, thanks for watching our video. So, See you in the next video where we will going to build a flask app. Have a good day.